Welcome to JG's Prep. In this example, rhombus star has vertices S of negative 1, 2, T of 2, 3, A of 3, 0, and R of 0, negative 1. What we're trying to find is the perimeter of the rhombus. Okay. What we know about a rhombus is that a rhombus, similar to a square, all of the sides are the same length. Okay. So all sides are the same length, which means if we can find the length of one side, then to find the perimeter, right, perimeter we just add up all the sides. So if I can find one side, all I have to do is multiply that by 4. Right? So the perimeter is 4 times the measure of one side. Right, because a rhombus has four sides and they're all going to be the same measure. So in order to find the measure of one side, we have to utilize our distance formula. Right? And so the distance between any two points is the square root of x2 minus x1 squared plus y2 minus y1 squared. And you can pick any two points that you'd like. Let's just pick the first two to make things easier. Okay. So I have point S, which is negative 1, 2, and I have point T, which is 2, 3. So we're just going to plug these in to our distance formula. Let's just go ahead and label them real quick. So let's say X, right, 1 is negative 1, and Y1 will be 2, X2 will be 2, and Y2 will be 3. So now let's just plug them into our distance formula. So x2 is 2 minus x1, which is negative 1, squared. y2 is 3 minus y1, which is 2, and that's going to be squared. When I subtract 2 minus a negative 1, now that's a 3, and 3 minus 2 is 1 which means my distance is the square root of 9 plus 1, which is the square root of 10. So the distance between S and T is the square root of 10. Now my perimeter, we said, is 4 times the measure of one side. All right. So then my perimeter is going to be 4 times that measure, which is the square root of 10, which gives us option number four as our solution.